Today we're going to talk about internal energy. So what is internal energy? Well, internal energy is the collective energy of all the different types of molecules found within a system. Now a system can be composed of billions of different molecules. For simplification purposes, we're going to look at a system with only two diatomic oxygen molecules. Now let's look at the types of energies molecules could have. Well, they can have either kinetic energy or potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy due to motion and it could be subdivided into three different types. Translational energy is the energy due to uh, velocity. Now when a mass moves with a certain velocity it carries a certain kinetic energy and this becomes important in gases and liquids. In solids vibrational energy takes over. In solids the molecules don't really move too much, they vibrate. And this vibration is created due to repulsion and attraction of protons and electrons. Now, if we look at this diatomic oxygen molecule, we'll see that this is the case. This diatomic oxygen molecule is composed of two nuclei. These two nuclei repel each other because they're positively charged. So they want to move away from each other. But Notice that each one has an electron cloud around it. And this guy will attract these guys, and this guy will attract these guys. So this will create a motion, a reverse motion. Instead of repelling, they want to attract, okay? So this creates repulsion, but they want to attract due to the attraction between this and this, and that and that, okay? So they create this harmonic, uh, vibrational force and this is important in solids okay rotational the third type of kinetic energy rotational energy is the energy due to torque now when molecules for example the diatomic oxygen moves it moves and rotates it rotates this way the same way when you throw a frisbee the frisbee rotates and it moves and this rotation creates a curved path Okay, and this rotation also creates kinetic energy. Now, let's look at the different types of potential energies that exist. Potential energies are energies due to positional placement in space. Three types exist. Rest mass is the energy due to a stationary mass. Now, any mass has energy, and Einstein showed this with the equation E equals mc squared. The larger the mass, the larger the energy. Electrostatic energy is the energy due to the attraction and repulsion of the protons in the nuclei and the, or the nucleus and the electrons in the electron cloud. Okay? This creates an electrostatic potential energy. Intermolecular energy is the energy due to uh, neighboring molecules. If we go back to our system that's composed of two diatomic oxygen molecules, we see that the protons found on this nucleus will attract the electrons of the neighboring atom. And the same thing for this one. Uh, uh, the proton here will attract the electrons here, and they will create potential energy. Okay? Now, to find the internal energy of the system, I would literally have to look at every single one of these for this molecule, add that up, I would have to look at the same situation here. Take all these, add them up for this one, and then I would sum them together. And that would be my total or my internal energy. Now if I have billions of molecules, I would have to do it for every single molecule. Now, one last thing I want to mention is that internal energy is a state function. And what that means is simply that internal energy does not depend on the process or the pathway taken to get to this system. What it does depend on is the current system at hand. And uh, it's also an external property. And that simply means that with increase in size of the system, internal energy of the system will also increase. And that's simply because if you increase the number of molecules in a system, there are more kinetic energies and potential energies to sum up, and so that internal energy will increase. And if you want to learn more about this, check out my other video.